that was it. See you guys later. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. What's up, you guys? Marty here, guitarjams.com. Real easy beginner lesson, but there's a couple of cool things that, if, especially if you're a beginner, uh, I want to just reaffirm for you, especially this F, C kind of transition right here. So we're going to zoom in. I'm going to show you that. But real quick, starting uh, Monday here, this coming Monday, I'm going to be running a special on my guitar coaching club, which is basically every single DVD I've ever made and a lifetime membership to the site. So I'm running that sale this week, so I thought I'm going to give a nice beginner lesson to you out there. And all you have to do is leave a comment below, and I am going to pick one person to win every single DVD and a lifetime membership to Guitar Jams. Everything. The kitchen sink, the whole thing. I'm going to only pick one comment though, so you got to leave one for a chance. But let's zoom in and I'm going to show you this, uh, this cool little progression. Here we go. So it's the same four chords over and over and there's a nice uh, real easy strumming pattern. So. Uh, see uh, I'm starting with this F chord and the way I'm playing F this is a really cool thing to practice um, the F to the C transition and the way you do it in in this particular lesson is your ring finger gets to stay on the third fret of the A string right here for both chords and not only that the index finger gets to stay on the first fret of the B string so really cool transition to practice over and over is this F to C and so let, let's look at what else is happening when I'm playing the F chord my middle finger is on the second fret of the G string right there and my pinky is on the third fret of the D right there they're right next to each other so that's our F chord I'm muting this top string here my thumbs just touching it get a nice thick F chord. Now to switch middle finger just moves up like that and pinky comes off and you have a C chord. The third chord is A minor and you just take your ring finger pull it off the A string and put it on the second fret of the G right there and you've got an A minor and then the final chord you're gonna have to do a hand change middle fingers coming off and targeting the third fret of the E string index goes to the second fret right there and ring fingers gonna go to the third fret of the high E and you have your G chord so check it out So notice the chords, the chords are changing on the up strum. Oops. The second and the fourth chord do that. Uh, there's a couple times where it holds on a G chord longer, but really that's the entire song. But not only knowing that it's that song, but the progression itself 
is just this these are chords you're going to see together all the time in any different combination and this F to C transition is a really nice thing to be able to get whether you're a beginner or an advanced player it's just that they sound really that change sounds really good Another song, check it off the list. I know I did. And uh, you can leave a comment for a chance to win my coaching club. That's it. Thanks for the support. See you later.